Have you ever been challenged with welding mobility? Where you can't get your welder to the location you really need to do something at? With us today, we have Ron Olson, president of ProSpot International, to help us with a solution. Ron, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, you know, if I'm going into certain places in my repair facility and I'm trying to perform welds, but I have no power, what can I do? Correct. That's a good point because uh, a lot of the body shops maybe that want to get into resistance power welding, they don't have the three-phase power available. And with this, we have an alternative. We have a spa welder that actually runs on batteries. Wow. And it's rechargeable as, uh, as it is. So it's called the, uh, the hybrid spa welder. Now, I notice you also have not only the spot welder, but you have a hybrid MIG, too. Exactly. We also have a, a hybrid uh, MIG welder that runs on two batteries. We charge, it gets the 26 volts, and it will uh, perform uh, MIG welding without anything hook, hooked up to it. And uh, as you can see here, we, the, both of these welders are chargeable with a 110 volt or 220 volt for, for the European markets. So is this so, something I just let charge overnight and then I can use it the next morning? Yeah, it's about five hours uh, of charge and you're back up and running again. Now the question I'm sure that would have be out there is that you know if I'm using a battery to weld, you know how good are the welds and how do I monitor my batteries? Yes. Um, Actually, the DC power uh, produced by the, the resistance spa welder makes a very nice, clean DC output weld. So that's perfect for, for resistance spa welding. What we have here is a, resist, uh, a processor inside the uh, spa welder that monitors each battery uh, individually. As you can see, we show the voltage, uh, the current voltage on each battery here automatically and at all time. And also, as the power cord is connected and is charging, it gives you the charge rate of the current here as well. It also um, monitor the charge current so it, it will shut off when it's completed and also when you go down to the lower limits of the uh, the battery voltage then it eliminates and shuts down automatically. So it so. shuts down before I possibly get into a weld situation where it might have some comparable or compromises in the weld, right? Exactly. So that's that's all controlled by this processor inside here. Now, if I'm using something like this that's not plugged in at the moment, about how many welds can I get out of it? We can get well over 100 welds. Wow. You know, sometimes it depends, of course, on the thicknesses and, and, and uh, the rate of welds, but um, it's very uh, a lot more welds than people will think. That's great, Ron. Yes. Well, this sure provides a lot of solutions for those that may be looking for more mobility. Exactly. And, and so it's, it is a big problem out there with the power and the power source. Even if people have power, sometimes there's too much equipment hooked up to the power source and it drags down. You lose a lot of voltage. Uh, resistance spa welder by nature takes a lot of uh, voltage at the moment of the weld. So uh, this would be a good alternative for these shops that don't have enough power. That's great, Ron. Looks yeah. good. Well, thank you so much for yeah. your time. Thank you.